This is a tutorial on how to make burrowing creatures. In the description I have a, a file and that is going to contain all the contents that you're going to need for this tutorial. You're going to need the GEC and just basic knowledge of how to use the GEC. This is good for anyone that's trying to make a mod and they want burrowing creatures in it. You can uh, pretty easily implement your own burrowing creatures. So we're going to go ahead and load up the ESM, the tutorial ESM. It's not necessary to know how to script, but it is helpful if you do know how to script. If you don't know how to script, uh, don't worry about it. You can just follow this to the end and you'll, you'll get a basic understanding on how they work and how to implement them. All right, so once you got the ESM loaded up, you're going to want to type pistol into the filters and go to creatures. So this is the spawner. This is what spawns the burrowing creatures. Um, it's basically just an invisible creature and it walks around and does stuff and you can set patrol packages up for it or you just have it wander around the area. Right now it's invisible and it makes it kind of hard to uh, mess around with it. So we're going to go into the editor ID, uh, the base form, and go over to the the modeling list and toggle the mole rat nif. That way we can actually see what we're working with. All right. So this is where your creatures are going to spawn. This is what's going to be handling it. Um, and we're going to want to set this to persistent. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, um, we can go ahead and start attaching creatures to the spawner. Um, I'm going to do geckos. You can do whatever creature you like. All right, so the, the actual creature needs to be um, persistent and you're going to want to set it to initially disabled and then just go ahead and Go to the links tab and link it directly to the Morat. And that's pretty much it. Um, from here, you can toggle the model off and save. Um, or if you want to add more, you can do that. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where these guys are because it always moves it to the, the location of the spawner. Um, so yeah, these guys will walk around invisible. And then once something interacts with them, the creatures will pop up. If you want them to be stationary, um, you can go into their packages. And uh, if you go to AI packages, there's a custom package on them. Um, you set the guard radius to zero. So it'll make it so they don't move around and they'll stay perfectly stationary. So now it's stationary and the second the player gets within distance, uh, within the trigger distance, um, it will spawn this gecko. It'll make it look like they're bursting out of the ground somewhere within the um, the spawner circle around the Morat. Um, you can also make it so multiple creatures pop out of the ground at the same time by linking um, different creatures or the same creature to the same Morat. And we're going to go ahead and use batch reference for this because it's easier. Um, you just hit the minus button next to the, the equals key um, and it pulls up this batch action reference and you can set multiple geckos to uh, one spawner and now you have all three of these connected to one spawner. One thing to note is that um, this, the script as default um, always spawns at least one of them and then every other one after that has a <clears throat> has a random chance to spawn. So there's actually a small chance that um, some of these won't spawn. Uh, sometimes you'll get sometimes you'll get two that pop out of the ground in random areas, um, and then sometimes you'll get all three, and sometimes you'll just get one. But it always spawns at least one of them, so you never get an instance where a no creatures pop out of the ground. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and toggle the model off and load up the game and see what it looks like. Alright, 
so now we're in game. And you see these guys already spawned, because I was close enough to this one. But this guy over here, now he spawned. And it will show you. Um, so this one only spawned two out of the three, and it actually tells you in the console. Um, it says all the, the geckos that have been moved to the burrow, or to the, you know, the spawner. And then it says that one has been forced to spawn, and then one has actually like been spawned after that. And then one of them didn't spawn and has been disabled. And it says three exist, two have been spawned. So three out of the two uh, actually spawned. Yeah, that's all there is to it. There's a lot you can do with this. Um, you just gotta play around with it. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show how the script and graph works and how you can modify them. Because currently, um, the script is set up for bark scorpions. It's not a huge deal, it, it works for all the creatures. Um, but if you wanna tailor the script to your specific creature, you can do that. There's only a few variables that you'll be changing. Uh, this little black dot in the middle, this is the spawner. So this is like the mole rat that we saw in the geck. The shaded area is where they can pop out of the ground. Um, so you can actually change where they pop out of the ground or like how far away they spawn from the, the spawner um, with the maximum minimum distance. So if you change the maximum, you'll see the shaded area get larger and then the minimum distance. So you can have them spawn in a, in a farther out ring around the spawner. If you wanted them to spawn right on top of the spawner, you would set the minimum distance to zero and then you can change the maximum distance to something really small, like 70 or 40 or even 10 if you wanted to, so it's always like right on the dot. And then in the scripts you can see here's the minimum and here's the maximum. If we wanted our values that we set in here to be changed in here, we can just go into the GEC and then change these lines. And we can change the maximum to 500. So now represented on the graph, 500 and zero. So that's what the spawn area would look like. Another thing too is um, right here on line 82, uh, set zero if you want every link creature to spawn. Normally this is 50. Um, so this is the small chance that the creature won't spawn. If you want them to always spawn, you just set it to zero. So every creature that's linked to the, the spawner will always pop out of the ground no matter what, and there's no randomness about it. That's pretty much it for the scripts.